Hi, mine. Really good session today. It's great to see you swinging the golf club as well as you were. As we discuss in the lesson, I think now we need to work mainly on this part of your golf swing rather than the actual physical nature of the movement. The swing itself you're making is very, very good. Just to sort of give you sort of positive feedback from here. Now we can see setup-wise, very, very good. Nice angles there in your spine, arms hanging down. As we can see from the, the other angle, grip position, very, very good. We're making a very, very good turn back. Club now is getting the top of the back swing nicely. Left arm across your shoulder, setting the club in a really good position. As we said, the left arm doesn't need to be locking out straight. Allowing a little bit of curve there in the arm is okay to a point, as long as it's not hinging and bending sort of complete 90 degrees. Your hands are still a good way away from the chest, you're hinging the wrists and you've turned your shoulders. And the club now can start working back down to the golf ball on a much better line. And hey, we can see that strike there, that's about as good as it gets, right at the middle of the golf club, flush down the target line towards where you want the ball to go. And a full release of the body up onto that left side. The only critical thing we can say is that when you swing the golf club, you are certainly staying down there with the head a little bit longer than ideal. And I think I'm sure on the golf course that may even stay down a little bit longer again, which could cause you some of the problems with that limited rotation when you come through. As we said, though, when it gets to playing shots on the golf course, you need to go through that routine of firstly picking out your target. What are you trying to aim at? Where do you want the ball to go? In this case, well, it's towards the 150, which is around about here. Pick your target, get yourself set up to that, and focus on actually hitting the golf ball to that target rather than worrying about whether the club is in a good position here or here or here or wherever it may be in the backswing and the downswing. In some ways, you just want to get out of your own way mentally and let your swing perform as well as you know you can. So I think in terms of the practice, try and pick out different targets. So, so up on the bank there, I'm on the bottom 150. Keep changing up each time and try and visualise par threes out there. And as we said... Don't look to the future and sort of believe that when you step on a par three, you're going to shank it. Because if you stand on that first tee knowing you're going to shank on the fourth, the eighth, the twelfth and the fifteenth, there's a pretty good chance you're going to shank on those four par threes. So try and think positively about the shots that are coming up rather than worrying about the negative. And I'm sure you'll find much more success on the golf course when you next play. So hope that all makes sense. Any questions, obviously give me a shout and I'll see you soon.